show. All right, so Mid-Autumn Festival is a gorgeous celebration of family, food, and moonlight, and it kicks off tomorrow. Yes, and to help us prepare, our next guest is here with the best foods to enjoy with your loved ones during the festivities. Everyone, please welcome Chef Eva Chin back to the show. Eva, so good to see you. Happy welcome back. Thank you. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival, everyone. Okay, um, uh, let's dive into that. In case someone doesn't actually know what the Mid-Autumn Festival is and is all about, can you fill us in? So Mid-Autumn Festival, it comes in two different angles. Obviously, something to do with the fact that autumn is here and the moon. Uh, it celebrates harvest, agriculture, and it always falls on the first uh, full moon before equinox. Uh, when we celebrate moon, um, mid on Festival, we eat mooncakes, we have delicious food. Uh, kids would come home uh, from exams and universities to visit families. And most importantly, the first, we sit in the courtyard, we eat food, and then we eat mooncakes. And during that time, we enjoy the moon and we have uh, lantern decorations. Love it. Lovely. All right, so there's lots of delicious food here, but you say the mooncake is a must-have. Why yes. is that? So, first of all, we eat it ourselves, and it's also a gift to give to colleagues, and to friends, the moon represents the circle. The mooncake represents a circular moon, and within the mooncake is also a tiny little egg yolk that also represents the moon. There's many types of mooncakes. You got Peking style, Cantonese style. I am here today representing what my family eats authentically, and we have traditional mooncakes mm. that are filled with lotus seed paste or red bean paste and seeds. I'm gonna try it. So I'm doing this one first. Yes. So that's lotus seed paste. It's it's fudgy. It's gooey. It's sweet. Mm. Almost like a brownie. That was good. Mm. And then on your right hand side, this is a seeded. I'm doing uh, another sweet one. Sweet and savory. Yeah. Okay, seeded. Second type. Yeah. So they look very different. Different mm -hmm. nuts and seeds in there. Also kind of fudgy and. Uh, Oh, Probably. different flavor. Yeah. Mm, Completely really different Eva. flavor. And then last but not least, we have our new modern age uh, mooncakes, which is dusted in a snowy skin. And this is a mango pomelo. You know, mm. fruitier, healthier, that represents a more new style mooncake. I've never had so much mooncake in my face at the same I know, time. I know, at the same time. Oh, I like Delicious. this one too. Mm. Really, really good. That's really good. Okay, mooncake, mm. The next dish you have actually is comprised of jelly. Yes. Okay, so what is the significant, uh, significance of that dish for the festival? So as you can see, this uh, yellow flower on top is called Osmanthus flower. Mm -hmm. um, that's usually peak in season, uh, right around Mid-Autumn Festival, especially in Shanghai region. And when the wind picks up, it honestly looks like a Can someone just rain. see this? It's all jingling. <laughs> it's jingling, baby. Yeah, um, we, yeah. we drink Osmanthus Beautiful. wine. We make Osmanthus pudding, Osmanthus that's jelly, good. Osmanthus jam to have with uh, fritters and donuts. It's very light. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. Sweet, but not too sweet. Yes, exactly. It's very lovely. fragrant as well. Very fragrant. All right, so our next mm. uh, dish, as I'm stuffing my face with your good food, mm -hmm. good food um, I get a whiff of pumpkin. Yes, so in front of you, you have uh, freshly fried pumpkin donuts. Mm -hmm. Once again, pumpkin, just mm. like Osmanthus flower, it's uh, usually around the harvesting time, just like Thanksgiving of North America. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, a gourd, a gourd that's uh, highly um, harvested right. during that time. Oh. It's sticky, chewy, filled mm -hmm. with red bean paste. You can tell this has been deep fried or what? How did you make mm -hmm. it? It's deep fried. <laughs> it is exactly the way you think it is mm -hmm. when you Sweet say the savory. word donut. Yes. This is beautiful. And what mm. was the paste inside? Uh, red bean paste. Mm. Can I ask how'd you get it in? <laughs> how, do you, how do you make this? Well, you roll out the dough mm -hmm. and you put a ball of red bean paste in, okay. and then you roll roll it back out. And, and if you, you notice, it. Mm -hmm. it almost it almost looked like pumpkin with the little ridges mm -hmm. on the design. Oh, I love that. Okay, you're gonna take us now through how to assemble another really really delicious dish, and it's called zongzi. Yes. So tell us uh, what it is and how we make it. So it's, it really comprises of three ingredients. One is your filling, your leaf, and your string, which I have. Mm -hmm. This is known as sticky rice dumplings. Now, everyone in the family always takes part of this, so we have a much more faster, cuter little parcel that we build. Oh my gosh, they're okay. perfect. That's nice. We're Very gonna make easy. that? Yeah. You sure? You think we can make that? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, what you have in front of you is already a folded a folded package here. Okay. So you can oh, use this, this one? one? I'm yeah. already getting it wrong, it's Eva. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it folds open like this. Okay. So open it. Open okay. this part. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. I've been around food exactly. before. Okay. For I got what it. leaves are these? These are called uh, bamboo leaves. Bamboo or leaves. Or bamboo leaves. And you're going to okay. take two heaping spoonfuls. Okay. You get your chopsticks. You Where'd you put it? Oh, at the bottom. At, at the, the bottom. bottom. Okay, you take your chopsticks, you pick up one piece of fatty pork belly, oh. and you really squish it in. I'm gonna pass okay. on the pork part. Yeah, okay. you can make, you can put any filling you want. You could, I have, have made I plain rice. Have I squished it in rice. properly? Okay, is that it? Uh, I'll get it in. Yes. Okay. okay. Like that. See that? Nice little cone okay. of and then pork put belly more on rice. Top. Okay. okay, gotcha. Yes, and, and then, then when you reach top. that, 
Mm -hmm. Your right hand is going to take this leaf and you're going to just close it. So it's like a triangle. Okay. Yes. Got it. Then you're going to clamp. Clamp. The two edges. Okay. You're going to wrap it up. I'm wrapping. While holding it. Oh, you want to... Mine doesn't cream? look like yours, Eva. <laughs> Eva. Here, let me just wrap this up first. Okay, hold on. So we put I'm the string, improvise. right? Yes, I'm you can so absolutely far. improvise. The most important thing is always tying it up. Can I use my teeth so. to tie the string? How absolutely. Uh, absolutely. That's how my grandma makes it, you okay, know? Good. After you tie it, you have a nice little parcel. Oh. Yours is so pretty. I'm trying I'm like, to copy. I didn't do the top part, but I'm like, Both of you did a great job. Really? Both of you did a great job. Oh my gosh. Um, that looks like she's on the struggle bus a little <laughs> But, she, but we're, it's really good. But oh. this is what you have, and it's it's really convenient. You put it in your freezer. It takes about 30 or 40 minutes to boil or steam in plain water. Um, after it's cooked, the leaves change color to gray, and mm. this is what it looks like cut open. You have a little portion for yourself to taste. Ooh, okay, let me taste it Yours before. Yours doesn't have meat for you to taste. Okay. I don't taste it, it didn't really happen. Let me get them. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This right here? Yes. Okay. Are you gonna eat with us? Okay, wait, there no, we go. Actually, no, actually, I didn't prepare any for myself. Oh my gosh, let's take mine. No, it's okay. Oh, it's it's okay. Okay. Here. Oh my gosh. That's good. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's you're really sticky, good. You're missing out, Eva. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I offered, that's really good. But yeah, it's sticky, it's mm. savory, it's uh, nice and warm. You can have it cold, room temperature, or piping hot. Doesn't matter. But this is one of the last traditional foods we have. Wow. So this is and how would you greet somebody who is celebrating? Happy Mid-Autumn Festival in, uh, in English. Mm. In Chinese, obviously, we have our own greeting. In Korean, it's Chosuk. In Philippines, you know, there's a different way of calling uh, Mid-Autumn Festival. In, in Vietnam as well, mm. there's only a certain number of countries to celebrate it. But most importantly, it's all about family. Family and eating and gathering. Absolutely. Amen to that. How do you say it in Korean again? Chosuk. Chosuk. Yes. All right, well, Chosuk to you, Eva. Thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> so delicious. Thank you for bringing all of your fabulous, delicious food here. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.